Hi, this is Savvy Sauce, and this is part one of my Let's Play of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Man, I am so excited to do this game. I'm pretty new to Let's Plays, but I actually did two games before this just to get some experience under my belt to do this one, because I didn't want to ruin it. I wanted to do it justice. And you know what? I'm probably still going to ruin it just because I'm bad at Let's Plays, and I sort of suck at video games. But that's okay, it's the thought that counts, right? Anyway, I'm just going to give myself sauce because I don't want to have to think about any other more complex names. <sighs> so I'm going to try and do this so that people who haven't played the game before will understand what's going on, but I'm also going to try and give some insights to people who have played the game before. So right now what you're seeing is a tree giving a monologue. Great monologue. Definitely deserves an Academy Award or some shit. Except I don't think they give awards for video games or to trees. Here we see our lovely protagonist. Probably shouldn't call him lovely since he's a small boy, but, you know, whatever, it's an adjective, I don't care. And he's sort of a loser, because he doesn't have a fairy. Apparently that's what makes you cool down in the Kokiri Forest, which is where he lives. Just a small aside, I have no idea how to pronounce any of the proper nouns in this game, so, I mean, just get over it. If you think I'm saying something wrong, just leave a comment. I don't care. And he's having bad dreams. Maybe they're a portent foretelling something to come. Oh, look, he has a fairy. Spoilers, he gets a fairy, and it's fucking annoying. I hate his fairy. I'm gonna be making horrible comments, complaining about it the entire time, but I think if you keep watching, you'll learn to hate it, too. I don't know if you can tell from the evil music, but that's a bad guy. He's the bad guy, actually. More on him later, though. More tree monologues, please. So Link, the main character in this game, he's not like the other children of the forest. Not only does he not have a fairy, but he has a very mysterious past, which will be revealed in time. Also weird shit's happening in Hyrule, setting up the events of the game. I don't really care though. Also this is a great shot of the Deku Tree's mustache and his nose. And a great shot of the fairy, I guess, if there's even such a thing. Unless you're holding a gun. Yeah, I fucking hate Navi. Navy, Navi, whatever. It's definitely not one of the blue people from Avatar, but... Well, she is blue. Ooh. He has a destiny to lead Hyrule to the path of justice. That's very interesting. I don't know what the deal is with this next sequence. Maybe they were just trying to show off the Nintendo 64's graphical capabilities. I don't know. Anyway, Navi takes the most perverted route possible. It's actually kind of funny, so... Whatever we're going through here. First we go through Mido's legs, of course. Because that's the easiest way through that area. Check out this chick sitting on the roof for no reason. Watch this guy humping the rock. I don't know. Maybe Navi's drunk or something. She doesn't know where she's going, obviously. Don't run into that fence! Oh, she did it. Yeah, Navi sucks. She's an idiot. Here we are at Link's house. Great music in this game, also. But you won't be able to hear it because you're going to be listening to my commentary, right? 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 So the first thing she does is wake me up when I'm trying to sleep. How am I going to save the world when I haven't gotten a good night's rest? Bitch. She calls me lazy. Wow, what a great way to introduce yourself. Man, Link has such a girly yawn. He should be crossing his legs right now. It's not very ladylike. She's introducing herself, blah blah blah. Alright, I've been summoned. It's pretty exciting. Great Deku Tree is a pretty big deal. I'm just not even going to bother leaving any comments about that house. So even though Link's sort of the loser of the Kokiri Forest, he has the coolest house ever. He has the only house with a balcony, and it also has a drawing of a dinosaur on it. Here's Link's annoying friend Saria, who has a huge crush on him. Normally you climb down the ladder, but I'm too cool for that, so I'm going to do a backflip. Alright, so... um. The Great Deku Tree is this way, you can see on the little map in the bottom right, but you're not allowed to go there until you get some items since this huge dick, Mido, is blocking the way. 
and he's he's not a nice guy. I don't know why he's the leader of this village. It's not like he's older since the Kokiri children don't age. Say what? <laughs> he has funny dialogue though, I'll give him that. He also doesn't know how to not walk normally. <sighs> you aren't even fully equipped. Anyway, basically, you aren't allowed through this area until you have a sword and a shield. So that's what I'm about to get. You buy shields at the shop, they cost 40 rupees. I have zero rupees right now, so I'll need to collect some. But you get the sword in this secret little area of the forest, so I'll be getting that first and collecting some rupees along the way. Um, the first ones I collect are in these bushes here. They're pretty annoying because you like can't see where they are, but whatever. Free money. Hopefully no Pokemon jump out at me, that would be annoying. Uh, yeah, I have a pretty specific route I take when collecting money. There's an invisible rupee up here. I'm going to try and get on my first try. If I don't... All right, yes. All right, great. So yeah, the sword's this way. It's this weird area. I don't know why nobody's taken the sword already. It's not like it's very well hidden. Ah, <sighs> whatever. There's another five rupee thing this way. Blue ones are worth five. Green ones are worth one. Another five over here, I believe. Watch out for that giant boulder! Alright, here we go. Chest. Chest with green glowing light inside. Uh, you'll see a lot of those as I play this game. I don't know why. Chests just like glowing. Also, doesn't this sword look tiny? It looks like a letter opener, if even. Borrow it. Borrow should be in quotes, because I'm going to steal it and never give it back. Great. I'm actually really surprised I didn't get hit by that. Normally I just run out without even thinking. Anyway, 22 rupees, more than halfway there. Uh, I know where I'm going to get the last 18. So, I will do that. So you get one here, you have to do a vertical chop on the sign. Oh, my sword isn't equipped. One second. Oh, stop. Alright, great. Maybe you get it if you do a horizontal chop as well. I don't know. But I do know you get it if you do a vertical, so if it ain't broke, don't fix it. There's another one behind this house. There's also some rupees inside the house, but... Well, I don't like stealing people's stuff. Just kidding. I love it. But I don't want to if there's one behind his house anyway. Okay, this girl's gonna talk to me because she's annoying. Hey! Yeah, whatever. Hope you break your ankle when you get down from there. I know what you're thinking. But wait! You only have 37 rupees! Well, astute viewer. There's another five back here. And look at that. Two rupees to spare. That guy's so short. He's a midget. I mean, a little person, excuse me. Sorry, I hope I didn't offend any of my little people viewers. I meant no offense. And look, I'm gonna have two rupees to spare. Maybe I'll get a blowjob from that girl outside. Sorry, that's inappropriate. Um, anyway, I have everything I need. Let me just equip the shield, otherwise Mido will just assume you don't have one. And I keep doing that, that's super annoying. Just wanted to cool off. Alright, here we go. Time to be dazzled, Mido. Well, guess what? That's right. Man, I wish you could attack NPCs in this game. Although he has a pretty cool colored fairy. I'll give him that much. And he walks in the most hilarious way. So, I'm almost at the first dungeon. Once I get inside, I'll probably save and in this segment. But before I do, I need an item, which is right here. I need a stick. Sticks are super useful in this game. They're useful for torches and for killing stuff. You'll see that in the next segment, though. <sighs> There's the great Deku Tree in all his glory. He's got a mustache, he's got eyebrows, and a nose. Well, that's really all he has. Definitely lacking in the facial features department. 
How did he know I've been having nightmares? He is so wise. Oh, it's because I'm sensitive. That's right. God, verily. I'm glad people don't say that, because there's never a time in conversation it needs to be said. Uh, yes. That's what she said. Alright, let me inside you. Also, just some warning ahead of time. If you ever see me walking backwards, that's because for some reason in this game, walking backwards is a lot faster than walking forwards. And here we are inside the Deku tree. Deku, Deku, potato, potato, whatever. I don't know how to say any of the proper nouns in this game, which I might have mentioned earlier, but I don't remember. Anyway, that's segment one. Thanks for watching. I hope you'll stay tuned, because there's a lot of cool tricks I'd like to show you in the first dungeon. So I'll see you next time, hopefully.